Adion, it's good to see you again. I've been away for the last four weeks in Brazil. I'm back in New York now, ready to do episode number 29. I'm calling it Taking Back the Reins, not in a good way. Let's start with our slow, deep breath. You can close the eyes, begin to inhale, fill the lungs, and then slowly begin to empty the lungs. I'm feeling the mind is quiet, our intelligence is awake, and our heart is open. You can open the eyes. So as a recap, uh, we saw that in verse 7 of the second chapter, Arjuna reached the point where he surrendered to Sri Krishna, the higher self. He became the disciple, he took refuge in Krishna, he recognized that he wasn't going to be able to move forward without the support, that type of spiritual support. And then in verse 8, we hear how deep Arjuna's pain is. We called it a level 3 crisis, if you recall. So I'll read you uh, verse 9 now. It's Sanjaya. He's talking to the blind king. If you recall, he's the minister to the king. The whole Gita is Sanjaya talking to the king. Sanjaya said, Having thus poured out his heart to Krishna, the lord of the senses, Arjuna, the conqueror of sleep, and the terror of his enemies, said, Govinda, I will not fight, and became silent. So this is a, quite a dramatic turnaround. In verse 7, he doesn't know what to do. He surrenders to Krishna. He takes refuge in Krishna. And then by verse 9, he knows what to do. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to uh, come up against the conditioning of my samskaras. I'm not going to go outside my comfort zone. So before we judge Arjuna too harshly, we have to look at ourselves and see, have I ever been in a situation where I really uh, called out to God or Guru professed my willingness to surrender totally, and then not too sh far from that, uh, grab back the reins of our life. When we find ourselves in times of trouble, we may feel that Mother Mary comes to us, and with all sincerity and resolve, uh, we, we choose the higher self over the ego. However, our sincerity and our resolve may not be strong enough to overcome the momentum of our limited conditioning. Uh, our aspiration to be free of the conditioning and, this, and the conditioning itself may be at parity, equal strength. We may want to get outside of our conditioned responses. At the same time, we may want to enjoy the security and sa supposed safety of that. So I've been asked to uh, give homework assignments at the end of each lesson. So the homework assignment today could be recognizing that total surrender is something beyond most of us. It's basically, total surrender is basically self-realization. So any surrender we have is going to be partial, it's going to be tenuous, it's going to be vulnerable. So this week, uh, just observe the play between your surrender and the ego's holding on to the reins, keeping control. Just observe it and see if you learn any lessons from that. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.